Um, OK. So in this assignment, we will, be, we will not be generating code. So we will be writing the, a parser and a scanner for a, a very simplified version of the C language that we call um, a baby C. Uh, so let's look at the make file maybe first. OK. So in the, in the w we will be, there will be multiple files. You know, there will be the, uh, you know, the lex file, babyc.lex. This will have the regular expressions that define the micro syntax of the language. And there will be uh, babyc.y, and that will have, the, um, it will have the grammars and the embedded actions uh, for the language. So babyc.y will be processed by Bison, the the, the, the parser generator, so it will process baby C dot Y and it will generate C code. That C code will be in this file baby C dot tab dot C. So it will generate the C code for you and then you compile the C code using a, a C compiler, which is GCC in this case. Okay, so this is the make file that does, uh, you know, that does this for you. So you don't have to worry about this, but to understand that you have uh, multiple files and similarly for the lex file it's processed by flex flex processes the file that has lex that has the regular expressions so this is the file that has the regular expressions so to look like this so you'll just put regular expressions by the way I put everything in there for you so you only need to uh, the syntax is uh, is weird you know when you look at it the first time it's, it's, it will look unfamiliar uh, but uh, basically I you know I did most of the stuff for you so these are the regular expressions and in fact you know for the uh, you know these symbols these uh, symbols in the language like comma se uh, uh, semicolon and plus and minus the regular expression for this is uh, is the symbol itself so the regular expression for comma is comma and it just returns a comma uh, the only uh, the only two uh, constructs that require an actual regular expression are the uh, identifier and number and this is something that we did in class I just want you to write them so you just write according to the description uh, you know in the in the uh, problem description so you write a regular expression for identifier as described in the problem statement and a regular expression for number and these are the actions that will happen. So for an identifier, it's, it's going to return ident. You know, so this is the return value of the scanner. The scanner is returning this value to the parser. So the scanner returns I identifier. It has just you know, recognized an identifier based on the regular expression here. And it will have to store the actual uh, lexeme uh, somewhere. So this is where we uh, you know, store the actual lexeme in this uh, data structure. This data structure is a data structure that the parser will have access to. So for the number, we, we return, we do the same thing. We return a number and we store the number in this data structure. So I'm doing all the work for you here, but you just need to write a regular expression for identifier, regular expression for number. Now this returns its values for the parser. So let's go back to the make file again. So we process the scanner with uh, flex. We process the parser with bison. Then we have C files. We compile the C files and we'll have the object files and we link them. So the one that comes from the scanner, the one that comes from the lexer, and there is a driver that I'm providing for you. And there is a file that has your actual code, which is your code.c. So let me show you the driver now. So the driver is going to look very simple. So it's, it's going to open the file. Then it's going to call yyparse. This calls the parser. Now who calls the scanner? Parser. The parser does. So the parser calls the scanner to get the next token. You know, remember that get next word in the pseudocode that we wrote? So the parser will call the scanner to get the next token or the next word. So we just call the parser. 
and that's it. And this is all what we need to do. Then we need to write something to generate code to process the abstract syntax tree, but this is commented out now. For I don't want you to, to, to work on this. I want you to focus on the parser and on building the abstract syntax tree in this assignment. So, so most of the work is gonna be in the parser file. So the parser file will have the grammar. So it will have the grammar for the language. Some of this will look familiar. So these are grammars. And these are the embedded actions. OK? So for example, you know, here I put a, an embedded action for recognizing a declaration. A declaration is an uh, you know, integer identifier. So integer, you know, this is a, you know, between quotation because this is a string recognized as is. And identifier is what? Is something that will come from the, the from the scanner. So this is something that comes from the scanner. Uh, now, when uh, when you recognize a declaration, you need to add a declaration to write some code to handle this declaration. And here I'm putting a print statement processing declaration of this variable. Now, what do you think the code for processing a declaration should do? What's the code? So there is a, an add declaration function that you will need to write. What should you put in there? Insert, uh, insert it into the symbol table? Exactly. Insert it in the, into the symbol table under one condition. If it's not already in there. It's yeah, if it's not already in there. If it's already in there, what should we do? Print error. Yeah, print error because you are trying to declare a variable twice. Okay. So if it's, uh, well, the, the, the programmer is trying to declare a variable twice. So you check on it in the symbol table. If it's, if it's in there, you print an error message. It's already declared. You cannot declare it more than once. If it's not declared, then you add it to the symbol table. And you know, similarly for the, uh, OK, for we have, I'm, I'm only showing statement. I'm not showing the entire grammar because I want you to write the grammar. So basically, the grammar. Uh, for this language is something that we wrote in you know in different lectures and examples you know homework assignments and exams so we very much covered everything uh, all the uh, all the productions that you need in order to define this language it's a simple version of c that has only if statements if else and it has only while loops and it only has integer variables and it has expressions uh, it has arithmetic and logical expressions that's all what it has. And so your job is to use these tools to build a compiler for this. So, so your code here is to write, your job here is to write the embedded actions. And the actual functions will be in uh, your code.c. So in, in, uh, okay. in this, here in these actions, don't try to do some, to write actual code. Just call a function and put the functions that do the real work in uh, your code.c. In fact, your code.c is, is a file that I'm giving you, but you can break it up into multiple files. So you can create your own, for example, ast.c and symbol table.c and code generation.c. You can break it up into uh, three files to, to, to better organize your code. And here uh, you, you, you put the, the create node functions that will create the nodes, and each one of them will return a pointer to an ast node. So uh, we're going to implement our own symbol table as well? Yes. Okay. And the symbol table, you know, what do you think would be a reasonable implementation of a symbol table? <laughs> yeah. Well, what would be the best data structure? Hash table. Yeah. yeah. Hash table. So uh, should be implemented as a hash table. Here, you know, it's, it will make a difference. Uh, we can feel the difference between a hash table and any other implementation. If the number of identifiers defined in the program is very large, so that we can feel the, you know, the, the difference in the search uh, speed. But if we don't have very many, uh, very many variables, then we will not notice the difference between a hash table and any other data structure like a list or an uh, array or whatever. So the implementation of the symbol table is up to you. And designing the data structures is up to you, as long as this works. But in, uh, in this assignment, assignment number four, you will not generate code. 
you will just have print statements that print uh, what is being recognized and what is being done. You know, print statements like processing declaration of so and so or creating an add node, creating a multiply node. And we will provide you from imp uh, with sample input and output files and your outputs must match our output. 